Well, right folks. I'm worried. This man participated. I think every MK Ultra show in our house. And I understand he was one of my biggest supporters. This is a guy who never, no, at least I, I didn't see it, but I cannot really recall that he would, he would touch me a hair. But then again, I would have to go see it more about it. Anyhow, it was like a big, big supporter of mine. During all negotiations that were going during MK Ultra. CEO of German arms manufacturer you know a little earlier I mentioned I am worried to me it's interesting because the guy participated all the negotiations including those of Vladimir Putin so I'm not worried for him I'm not worried for myself as far as my getting killed or <clears throat> in a sense that as he stated all you got to do is you got to call me out you got to say my name and I will go ahead and I will recognize you but I am worried for the sake of Ukraine very 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 worried for the sake of Ukraine and would like to alert NATO that the issue actually the public the issue that you watch hear about Russians attempting to assassinate Armin Paperger was negotiated during MK Ultra with Putin knowing totally about the whole thing. Might have been on behalf of Putin or might have been on behalf of Paperger. But in my case, It definitely pertains to the British Royals. Poor Anne suffers at the front page already all day long. She can't remember a single thing about a horse injury that put her in hospital. It looks like a badass injury. I'm not worried about Armin Paperger, who told me all you gotta say is name me and that's it because he's extremely well protected this is probably the most protected man in Germany I'm worried about idea about my associating myself with him to degree that I would actually disappear under some kind of German-Russian Iron Curtain 
by the way a really beautiful video nice little propaganda for the Putin negotiated between Joe Biden Vladimir Putin personally in 2017 I have seen this video already before negotiated between Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin it seems to me that the Russo-American German cooperation did not start but like in the background it seems to me it's still in a full swing I see Vladimir Putin came up with in a parenthesis some new missile avant-garde etc etc stuff Americans have sold to him and he just revealed them and the world I understand is astonished so I am worried and you might have already guessed I'm worried about the scum running the show for public should know NATO already knows because people all the NATO executives presidents prime ministers participated here stated the issues Armin Papere, Paperger told me and this is very unlikely I would say right because this is the guy who's gonna start to manufacture tanks weaponry in a Ukraine and for that matter however he did receive enormous backlash from Putin that was a big problem and Putin threatened will destroy the factory but this goes way back in time it goes probably back in time like in 2013 before even invasion on Crimea took place I'm worried about this stuff because he told me one thing in front of Charles he actually he told this to me he stated you're gonna have to name me but you must forget about the Charles you must forget about the British Royals so this guy is not brokering only weaponry but he is also he tried also to broker extermination a genocide procedure against me that's why I'm indefinitely rejecting this individual is out of the game as far as I'm concerned infinity any one of you thinking that you're gonna approach me in absolutely any way and condition me try to broker crime between me and British Royals you're dead wrong it's gonna be a dead-end street it's gonna be only one-way street that you're gonna get in and you're gonna get out so you better don't even get in I'm telling you this beforehand don't don't even come close to me if you think you're gonna broker stuff like this between me between them because you are whatever the fuck you are you're wrong now even for the cost of Ukraine you're dead wrong if you think you're gonna broker what British royals have done to me and enforced against me and the so-called help you're not gonna be doing this here you're not gonna be doing this kind of stuff obviously this is a very very important guy this guy obviously contributed enormously to Ukrainian defense they did he did but I have to warn the world that things as they are might not be exactly the way they look and just behind the corner it could be some other surprise awaiting us with literally solution offered to the Putin years ahead of 2022 
it makes really this Russian SU-57 really, really impressive plane, right? And I saw some American videos about why the Russian planes are painted in such a way that was also demonstrated to me during MK Ultra and Tudor that they are painted in a such a way so they give the impression that they are smaller and therefore distance further away uh, from aimed target than what they really are. So I see a lot of beautification of the Russian military and I don't see much happening in Ukraine. And the main scenario pertaining to Ukraine as per where the war would end was the answer repeatedly was the first answer was that the war will end when Ukraine gets Western jets. And it did not come to me affirmative as they are going to liberate Ukraine. But this is the last gift they get and then it's up to them whatever they do. So this is pretty much where we are not even there yet. So far, what uh, I can say we see is, well, you can see it yourself. It's a dire situation, it continues to be a dire situation for Ukraine. And so, if this individual here is going to change his mind, because he stated to me, I sighed exactly, that he's going to work out between me and between the British Royals and so on. He said, he called me out, you name me and I will come to your rescue, etc, etc. But you will have to let British Royals out in front of the Charles. And if you will not do this, we can do nothing about it. And if you will not call me out, that too will be an issue that will have impact on further resolution as far as Ukraine and how the war will continue to move. Then we will also not uh, provide assistance to the military, military assistance to Ukraine anymore. These are also the words of Armin to me. I'm trying to find exact words that he stated to me, the way he stated to me. Yeah, it's gonna last for a little bit more, but not much longer. That's exactly when he meant by, if I'm gonna call him out, name him out, that he participated in MKUltra. So, for me personally, when I consider this stuff, I need people involved in this to understand what I stated, so beforehand they can provide the solution. That's if necessary another CEO, or if necessary uh, another company that can provide this, or if necessary substitute German support for Ukraine with another support or whatever it take whatever it takes. This is as far as me personally. I don't resent him. Um, it's nice that he did something like this. Um, Germany and Austria could benefit from my case a whole lot, but they really need to stay the fuck out of my issues. This is my, these are my issues. And you did not provide other than problems. You created so many fucking problems that is unbelievable. You literally you ruined me. You caused me Mount Everest of problems. For me personally, the biggest important is the paramount importance is that you consider the stuff you do benefits you. If you think the Russia will benefit you, then you have to proceed with the Russia. 
I, I'm not going to be convincing anybody. I think that you got to be utterly insane not to see about what goes on. Actually, not to see about what went on. As we see, is nothing new, really. What we see is a lot of Western European, all kinds of companies and stuff that are endangering security, undermining security of Europe, United States alone. We are, sh we are seeing a sharp increase in aggressive international relations that are bringing us each day closer and closer to the final uh, final war, final solution. A situation is not getting any better anywhere in the world. It's getting worse and worse, and we all know it's going to get much worse. If you work in a defense industry, then you know that this is the time that... Uh, the conflicts, the military, the, the rage, they will not stop. The question only is if you have a system big enough that you can support, sustain further development against you. Because no doubt we are in the middle of a World War Three. So, as much as I would love to meet this guy, befriend this guy I don't think I can afford stuff like this he appeared to be he appeared to me to be a very nice guy there was some stupid stuff that was done to me in the Rhine Metal AG inside of the factory where they had me oftentimes really stupid stuff <laughs> but I don't remember him doing anything bad to me I think he was always very nice he was especially very nice whenever he attended these meetings. He was one of the nicest German executives. Still, however, this here does not pertain to him. This does not pertain to him, nor does this pertain to Germany. This pertains to me. It pertains to court. It pertains to law, police, order. Would this have an impact on you if you were involved in MK Ultra? And what kind of impact would this have on you? Well, Forty-five of them died this year, I understand. Forty-five of them were involved in MK Ultra. I don't think there was any actor that counted that was not involved in this entire Hollywood, was involved not not generation, not two, three, four generations. I was born in 1971. So you know what that means. It was nothing other than will disappear. If you will this and you know, will disappear and you will have nobody to testify to and this and that. I figure out that they finance this stuff as far as disappear. I figure out they'll try to make inf they'll try to influence me, my decision making with the disappearance of this sweet people from the Hollywood. But I also figure out that people like this are not what shit. Because if you're in it to disappear, you are always in it to disappear. It's just as simple as this. Are you going to disappear? No, you will not disappear. And if you will disappear, this finally, this is your problem. This is not my problem. The police takes care of these matters. So, my opinion about this is, I don't have a time for one. I have to go now. 
Thanks for watching this video. It's a sad thing, isn't it, that this shit went on for so long and that none of you had the courage to actually come visit me. Um, to a few, I have to thank a couple that came from England all the way here. I'm not going to say that I actually kept the promise because, you know, I shouldn't be even doing this kind of stuff, but it just goes to show how low the level of democracy is where we are at present in this world, where we are at for the last 50 years. And it's this kind of stuff that determines where the future is going to take us. Fine with me. Well, good you do, good you get. Shit to do, shit you do, fuck you. If you did good, it's good. If you did bad stuff, you already know.